We are already in the campaign season. A time that has been made available to us, the electors, to listen carefully to our prospective leaders. Ask questions, scrutinize their agenda for the country, and also check out what their track records have been outside of public life. A unique time to think about the country and our children unborn. A time to look forward to a country that works. This is our discussion for today. My name is ADS. Please watch this video. My opponent asks her supporters to recite a three-word loyalty pledge. It reads, I'm with her. I choose to recite a different pledge. My pledge reads, I'm with you, the American people. I am your voice. So to every parent who dreams for their child and every child who dreams for their future, I say these words to you tonight. I am with you, I will fight for you, and I will win for you. To all Americans tonight, in all of our cities, and in all of our towns, I make this promise. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you and good night. I love you. Uh -huh, you're welcome back. Please, eh? Uh, did you hear anything like APC change or PDP power to the people? <laughs> In their case, now the Republicans and the Democrats. Did you hear Democrats power? Republicans change eh, eh. all what you kept hearing in that video is an assurance that america would be great again you can see the passion with which the candidate conveyed his message of hope to his people and the electorates he made them believe in the country the more with this kind of speech all you see around the candidate is a hope for the future now take a look at this other video. Watch to come out and vote out BDP for good and make sure your vote count. This is a center of the culture of political focus and determination. We have no doubt if the Southwest Bloc understands and accept this change, it will happen. So the ball is in your court. If you want to improve Nigeria, put your experience and determination, and God willing, it will happen. Whatever savings we will make from stopping corruption, we will quickly put in farming and mining. <laughs> is there any assurance of hope in that video? It's more or less like a slave master talking to his subjects. The campaign is about them, not about the nation. Is there any passion in what you just heard in that video? Did the candidate even convey his message like he meant it? This used to be our reality, but all of that is about to change. Before this election cycle, Nigerian politicians were seen in public places
pulling some funny stunts just to appeal to the vulnerable electorate. You see them plating hair, eating with the paw, selling by the roadside, eating on the road while taking a walk, hawking on the streets. But ever since the fight to save Nigeria came on board, the game has changed. It's about what can you offer? This is the kind of speech that made the difference. What? I'm running the selection as a Nigerian. I don't want people to vote for me because I'm from the Southeast. I don't want people to vote for me because I'm from Southwest, South South, Northwest, Northeast or North Central. I want them to vote for me because I'm a Nigerian who has the competence to mobilize the Nigerian people into turning around our country. I'm a committed Nigerian. I believe in Nigeria. That's why I said that what I want to do is to secure, unite, and build a productive Nigeria. And I know what to do. Now that I've been opportuned to have somebody with similar background, the team we are going to bring around will be Team Nigeria. You see, this candidate made his pitch around Team Nigeria. It's about the Nigeria that works. He didn't need to sell on the streets so, or eat in public or, or to you know, do all these funny things to convey his message. Oh no. With the introduction of a third force in our politics, a massive one for that matter, is no longer business as usual. Now, watch the candidate of the Young Progressive Party, YPP, Malik Ado Ibrahim, speak of Nigeria, placing us side by side with the Western world and opting to prefer solutions to the pressing issues. Watch. The fundamental element that Nigeria needs is somebody who knows what to do and has the experience to do it because you can now track him. But to come and tell me you, you, you're going to tell somebody to be your power minister and you don't know what to tell him to yeah, do. But I, I just need to be clear on what you say your solution is to the power pinch. It's embedding Nigeria. power, renewable energy power, where it's needed. You can go from villages to towns in a heartbeat. This is not rocket science, if you know what I'm, what, what I'm talking you, about. And you, you've done that, have I've you, done to that, some extent? Not just, it, look, in, I did it with NDPHC. Um, I put renewable energy into Ibokoda on, in uh, primary health centers. They were running on, I passed my neighbor generators, and now they're, they're, they're happily running on... That's um, solar energy. Solar right? and storage. The storage right. part is where I'm, I'm key. Solar everybody has. Being able to store that energy and deliver it as you need it, whenever you need it, is the, is the skill set you need. And you can build from that small to something I'm doing in, uh, with Sebor International in Adamawa. We put 5 megawatts, which is 80%. 80% of the Yola Disco, which is for four states, we put on one place. We built it ourselves. It's a unique Nigerian technology, and we're using it in 18 countries. I'm not. This is not a time to be theoretical. This mm. is a time to be practical and deliver. But that's going to cost needs. a lot of money. No, it doesn't. The, 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 the United Nations has this uh, sustainable development goals. Out of that, you have um, the COP27, which is happening in Africa. This is $100 billion that you have access to for renewable energy. I guarantee you our minister does not know how to get that money. This is the kind of thinking we want to see in this campaign season. Profound solutions. Don't come and start attacking anybody. Nigeria needs a leader because we believe the ones before now didn't do a good job. We already know about that. So don't remind us of our past at all. Keep your blame game to yourself and speak to the issues we have as Nigerians. To the electorates, this is the time to select your leader. Follow through the campaigns and make the right choice. If you miss it this time, now after eight years, uh, the year me, so I'll see you again. Follow us on all our social media channels showing on your screen right now. Until I see you again, my name is A.
DS. Signing out.